Reviewing Student Answers After you have presented a Pear Deck to students and saved the session, you can return later to review student answers. It's important to remember that there is a difference between a deck and a session. A deck is a file stored in Google Drive and consists of a bunch of slides you created about a particular topic. From a single deck, you can present as many times as you want, and each time you present, you have created a new session. So each session, and set of student answers, is connected directly to a single deck. Finding the sessions you want to review. First, find the deck you want to review in your Google Drive. Next, open the menu at the top left. Click on the Sessions menu. Here you will find every session you have saved. You can click on the session to review student answers. You can also click the Options menu for more actions. Reopening a session makes it live again for students to join and answer. If you closed a session without naming it, you can find it by clicking on Show Unnamed Sessions. Now you can click the Options menu and rename it. Reviewing Student Answers Once you have opened the session you want to review, you will see a view very similar to the session dashboard when you are presenting. The main differences are that the session is no longer live, meaning students cannot join it or change their answers. And the unnecessary live controls have been removed from your navigation bar, like locking responses or asking again. Here are some ways you might review answers. If you want to see what a particular student answered, you can hover over that student's name and their answer will be highlighted on the slide. Similarly, if you hover over an answer on the slide, the corresponding student name will light up in the student list. On a draggable question, such as this, you can also click somewhere on the picture to drop a little pin and student names will be sorted based on their proximity to that location. In this way, you can quickly identify all of the students in a particular clump of answers or see who is close to the correct answer. On multiple choice questions and free response number questions, if you sort the student list by response, you can quickly see students grouped by similar answer. Finally, by checking the box next to a student's name, the student's answer is selected on the slide, just like when you hover, but now the selection is sticky. When you move to the next slide, that same student's answer is highlighted. This way you can track a student or group of students through an entire lesson to see what they understood and where they got confused. That's how you review student answers from a particular class period or session.